Hello and welcome back to another video. So today I'm driving the Morgan Plus 4 automatic. I've previously reviewed the manual version of this car in the previous gen on the channel where I compared it to a more classic styled Morgan but today it's actually going to be the first time reviewing an automatic whatsoever. So it's going to offer a very different driving experience but to begin with I just want to go around the exterior of the car and kind of show you the things that are new and improved. Starting with the front, we've got a new front splitter and number plate mount to kind of make it look a bit more seamless through the design as well as brand new arches around the wheels to kind of create a really nice flowing look and you may notice the main thing for me, the headlights. The headlights have completely changed where they now have built in LEDs for not just your full and main beam but also your indicator system. So it kind of takes away anything that was kind of a bit of an eyesore on the front and keeps that flowing design all the way through to the back. So let's head around the back. The minimalist theme continues throughout the back of the car where again we've got ducted lights in terms of no more rear indicators but all into one system which looks brilliant. I think one thing that Morgan know is that the shape of their car is so beautiful to look at that actually deducting the different body parts and kind of making it more sleek makes the car look even better. We've also got a rear diffuser that's new and a new plus four badge. I actually really liked the previous gen plus four badge so I'm not sure how I feel about that. I almost feel like that dulled that down a little bit too much. Um, but in terms of the colour, it's finished in alligator green. And I think exterior wise, that's kind of what I wanted to talk about really. So I think it's time to get on the road and actually kind of see how I get on with an automatic transition. So here we go, my first time reviewing an automatic on the channel. How's it gonna go? <laughs> I think it might surprise a lot of you a little bit because I've obviously driven very raw kind of manual cars on the channel in terms of it's kind of like, I've had like stuff with like practically no shell, lightweight, uh, noisy and unpractical really. Whereas this is kind of all the opposite. It's classy, it's easy to drive good for all weather and extremely comfortable so uh, so far so good <clears throat> I've currently got it in its standard driving automatic mode so no sports or sports plus as of yet just a uh, kind of dulled down exhaust and more in terms of comfort than anything but it's uh, been lovely to drive I've been driving it as a daily for the last week just covered over 1,000 miles, doing long and short journeys in good and awful weather, may I add. And it's just not let me down at all. I think in terms of its practicality, it's been brilliant on fuel. It's been comfortable for every single journey and weather type that I've had to drive through. And overall, it's just been perfect for what I needed it for, really. I mean, of course, if you kind of needed an extra passenger or you were traveling as a three or more, then of course, that's not the practical side of it. But in terms of if you were to do a road trip with this car, it would be virtually perfect. I mean, if you've got something that's fast, good on fuel, has a Sport Plus mode and a normal mode, and you've got probably just about enough space for your luggage and bits and pieces you want to take with you, what a car. I thought I'd start off in the kind of standard driving mode just to kind of save my acceleration and excitement for the car till a bit further into the video to keep me waiting. <laughs> but um, I just wanted to add very quickly that this car is currently for sale with Brands Hatch Morgan for $79,950. It's uh, finished in alligator green which I think looks brilliant on the car and just in terms of its kind of heritage with that kind of green format it's obviously it just looks excellent and you've got a very nice kind of finish in the interior with the alligator green continuing through the centre console as well as a nice modern dashboard. You've got a 2 litre BMW engine that puts out just over 250 brake horsepower, top speed of 149 miles an hour 
and a 0 to 60 in 4.8 seconds. What a car for the money. And one thing that I always love about the Morgans, and especially the modern day Morgans, is the practicality of them all. I think a lot of people have kind of undenied about the idea that they've switched to quite a lot of BMW components, but both in their manual and automatic transition that I've tried have been zero to none. They've just been perfect. I haven't had a single fault to say about them or a complaint to make. They've driven perfectly, they've handled perfectly, they're very rear happy and they've got plenty of power. And also I'd imagine that if you were to buy one of these and use it for a year, two years, I could imagine they'd be very, very reliable. I mean, I'm not going to promise you that because obviously I've only had it a week, but over the thousand miles of plus that I've done, it literally hasn't had a single issue. So there's a good thing to, to think about if you're looking at purchasing one. And if you are thinking of purchasing one, Brands Hatch Morgan actually offer test drives of this exact car. You can also rent cars from them if you wanted to try a manual version of this model or automatic itself. So if you are looking to rent for a weekend, purchase or just test this car, do get in touch with Brands Hatch Morgan. I'll give them a little link in the bio down below this video where you can check all the rest of their stock out. Perhaps your car needs a service or some maintenance, which I'm sure they'll be able to help you with. But I think it's time now to stick that car into a Sports Plus mode and see what it's really got to offer. So we're in Sports Plus now. We've got a bit of open road, some nice corners, but it's time to properly show you kind of how this car can make you feel when you're driving it to its potential. Drop down a couple of gears, let the noise come through. <laughs> it's so quick. Honestly, I think I'm comparing it obviously to the manual car that I drove that's got the same engine, same power, probably virtually the same weight at around a, a tonne, but it's just completely different. It's like when you've got that kind of sequential use of the transmission through the flappy paddles, the car just doesn't stop. <laughs> it's just adamant to get through every single gear as quick as possible. And it's just brilliant. It's so good to drive. I think, like I said, like with it being so practical for daily use, but then having this side of it where you can put it into Sports Plus mode and enjoy the hell out of it, it's like the perfect car, really. I think if you're looking for something that you could drive long distance, but also have fun with at the weekend, and you only needed two seats and not a lot of luggage space, <laughs> it's perfect. absolutely love the... Uh, turbo sounds it gives off and the pops and bangs through the exhaust aren't too much but yeah it's just absolutely brilliant I think the amount of people that just assume these cars are, are still kind of very classic and potentially slow it's uh, it almost makes the characteristic of this car even better you kind of get so many people that kind of still assume that it's a classic car and that it's very very old or very nimble very unreliable <laughs> but it's just got this kind of side to it that people aren't aware of. <laughs> and until you actually drive one, you probably wouldn't believe me. You see this parked up on the road, you think, oh, that's nice, a uh, nice classic green Morgan. I bet the owner's a nice old chap. Drives it every weekend, perhaps, to go to the pub. Probably doesn't put it down to something that he can drive and really put his foot down in, but it's an absolute animal. <laughs> absolute animal it's such a sleeper because you just wouldn't assume that a car like this would have so much power and be so good to put your foot down in and really enjoy but it does just that I haven't had a smile on my face like this for a long time and one thing when you're in sports plus your smile just stays there <laughs> just flicking through the gears it's so easy but so enjoyable at the same time, so much more engaging than just being in auto. Just 
rapid. Absolutely rapid. I think the best way to conclude this video today is just to basically tell you guys that if you get the opportunity to drive one of these, you have to give it a go, whether it's a manual or an automatic, because obviously everyone has different preferences, but it will blow you away. I think with all this kind of modern enticement it's had from BMW and the continuation of the brilliantly way that these cars are built, they're just the perfect classic modern car, if that makes sense. They've got that classic look, but a modern feel, and I just think they're incredible. They're up there with probably one of my favourite cars that I'd probably have as a weekend car now, really. I can't still quite decide if I had a manual or an auto. I think I'd have a manual if I wasn't driving it the amount of miles that I've done in the last week. But if I had it to have a, something that was potentially more practical and that I could use for road trips or daily use, then I'd go for an auto. But either way, you're going to get enjoyment out of them both. And even with the idea of specking these cars, you've got so much kind of space to elaborate on how eccentric you want to be or how kind of dulled down and potentially sleeper-like you want to make it look. But it doesn't have to be Larry to be good fun. But for now, I'm going to check out and I'll see you again in another video very soon. So do like and subscribe for plenty more videos to come. Over and out.